Okay, we're back. You know what I'm talking about. Anyone give us a lie about this? Anyway, let's get scared. Let's get inside uh, my religious life video blog that I just missed last Sunday. That's what. That's why we're taking uh, my first website off. So trust me about that. I try to read this, the, the redecorating my website last Sunday. So <laughs> you will believe me. I've been here, so you better check this out for yourself on, on this new reconstructed website, lhmusictimeblog.weebly.com. LH and um, you know I'm saying, trust me about this. And um, you know I'm talking about this one. Who knows? Anyone, um, trust me about that as well. Anyways, uh, let's get inside 6th Sunday of Epiphany last Sunday. It's from Luke chapter, chapter 6, verse seven, verses 17 through 26. And, uh, and, um, and here's my uh, <laughs> great, greater observation you and I were talking about. Jesus heal, teaches and heals, you know what I'm saying. Let's get started with num uh, number 17 says he came down with with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea uh, Jer Jerusalem and the coast of Tyre and Sidon they had come to be, to hear him and to be healed of their dis diseases and those who who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured but were cu cured and all the crowd uh, all in the crowd were trying to touch him for power came out from him and healed him heal all them all of them and on uh you know verse 20 uh has a different perspective you know saying it says that he looked up at his disciples and said blessed are you who are poor for for yours is the kingdom of god blessed 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 uh, are are you who are hungry now for you will be filled. Blessed are you who who weeped now. For you will laugh. Blessed are you when you when people hate you. And when they exclude exclude you, reveal you, vile you, revile you, and defame you on the account of you guessed it the son of man and rejoice on that day and leap for joy for uh, surely your reward is great in heaven for that is what their ancestors did to the prophet but woe to you who are rich for you have received your consolation woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. So you see it happens, concern to the poor. And this is what happens, it has been, you guessed it. Well-being of the rich is not Jesus, only concerned with the regarding to wrath, to wealth. He also cares about the well-being of the poor. So sell your positions, he says, and give alms to the poor and make purses for yourself selves that you do not wear out yeah, he has a 
an unfailing treasure in heaven. Where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. But if, if, but what if I told you that if the hoarding of wealth is harming the rich, so how much is more, more is it harming the poor? Just, saying. just just for instance, because after, you know, last Sunday, after um, church service at Resurrection, that's, you know, the, me and um, Amy went to uh, five five guys, and, and <laughs> Amy, such a wonderful woman, she goes, uh, my church, uh, uh, filling in for Todd, he's does acolyting things and all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying. So that means I went to the five guys next to Deuce Space at 72nd and Jones, 72nd Dodge. And, and um, 78th and, and uh, what should we say? 78th, 78th and Dodge. I'm gonna have a bite to eat like a, a big juicy bacon cheeseburger for me and she wants a BLT and and some fries and and drink uh, drink and it, it was a fun uh, fabulous experience and she pays to the man and I and I'm just gonna be cool and that guy who works at Five Guys told me, how's the podcast doing? I said, it's, it's doing wonderful. It's doing wonderful. And the other guy's waving at me and says, hello, hello. So that, that is why everything else gives the license. We have a wonderful time. We have a little conversation, conversation about this one. And, you know what I'm saying. But the only thing that happens is how much more? More conversation, more, you know, you know what I'm saying. God's persistent concern for, for the poor is, you guessed it, powerless. And powerless is inherent in the magnific, the Magnificat and the Sermon on the Plain. And, um, and indeed throughout Luke's gospel. But what if Jesus brings it to the poor, uh, to the, the point in this whole parable of Lazarus? And the rich, and the rich man, yes, the rich man, dresses in grand clothes and lives in luxury while he does nothing to help relieve Lazarus who is dying of hunger and the disease but Lazarus just dies uh, dies uh, well uh, of course what, what about the rich man which reminds us that the wealth no great power after all uh, after all and the angels try to carry it carry Lazarus up to heaven and you guessed it apparently not none uh, none of this uh, no no other reasons is poverty unless perhaps for a love of God that was never displaced by wealth. The rich man goes to Hades and apparently for no reason other than his wealth. Unless it could be a, of a love that drove out of any room for God and, and uh, or other people. What about, and the, what about the implication? I'll tell you what the implication is. It's so strong that the rich man, man's duty, 
care for you, you know, who Lazarus needs. When and when he's able, perhaps everybody's doing something. He could have found room again in him in himself for a uh, right relationship with God and avoid his a miserable end. But you know the end. But you know my. Uh, but you know the moral of this political life story. No, 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 not political. Oh, but you know the moral of my. You guessed it. That's right. Religious life video blog story is for the sixth Sunday of Epiphany. And it says, and you know what it says that. But the further, like many of the rich. He cared for his family and wanting to warn them of the judgment to come. But his care for God's wider family is revealed in the law and prophets was sad and lacking and not even one returning from the dead could rem could remedy that so that is why that's why in uh in this gospel of luke chapter six and i said well to you when all speak well of you and for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets that's all I can say. And that's my religious life video box story, and I'm sticking to it.